सो हे गाइज व्हाट्सअप एन पी एस थ्री डी हीयर एंड वेलकम बैक टू एन अदर ग्रेट एक्साइटेड ब्रेक डाउन सो टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू हाउ आई रिक्रिएटेड दिस सीन यूजिंग ब्लेंडर बट बिफोर दैट इफ यू रियली इंटरेस्टेड टू लर्न ब्लेंडर एंड वॉन्ट टू क्रिएट सम थ्री डी आर्ट जस्ट लाइक दिज वन सो यू कैन डायरेक्टली विजिट टू माई वेबसाइट डब्ल्यू डब्ल्यू डॉट एन पी एस थ्री डी डॉट नेट आई विल पुट अ लिंक इन माई वीडियो डिस्क्रिप्शन सो आई मेड अ कोर्स विच विल शो यू हाउ you can create these types of amazing art using blender and without any extra add on so if you are really want to learn so all the links will be in my video description basically this art is inspired by here so i found this image on my pinterest and in the end i did not get exactly the same because that is anime and this is real let me break down the scene so first if i will show you the breakdown let me show you how you can suit this if you will see i am standing in front of chroma and here i put a light and with some leaves we are creating the shadows on my shirt so it will be you know just look more real so this is the thing which i shoot and then we simply key out inside after effect then we can import it here if you will really see here imported as a png sequence so here is a feature in blender if you will shift a and if you will go to the image you will load image as plane and this is a add on free add on which comes with a blender so if you will go to the edit preferences and go to the add on you can just search here i mean search over here image and you can check this on import image as plane so you can import your png sequence through this thing this is the pre visualization which i did before shooting so that i can see all the lightings and what the actual things will be then i you know just placed after shooting this and i placed this one and then i really thought it will look good so uh, let me off these things one by one so that i can show you and first let me uh, change this to texture so i can see my texture over here and let me shut all these things one by one so let me first of these things so if you uh, this is the simple extrusion i can i just simply you know just created some loops and i select the faces and inner extrude them and this is a texture if you focus over here so let me uh, join this so this is a full big view so if you will focus over here this is a texture so let me select this actually this is the texture which i write inside photoshop and i imported and this is the png so it will look like this is you know just uh, in matlab matlab maine aisa kuch kara jaise yahan kuch chak se likha hua hai np study something like that so और ये पूरा का पूरा सुन इफ यूल सी क्लियरली द होल थिंग्स इज मेड ऑफ क्यूब सिंपल क्यूब एंड आई जस्ट सिंपली अप्लाई सम इट्स ट्रू बेवल एंड दैट्स इट आई ऑल्सो पुट टू क्यूब्स हियर टू ब्लॉक द लाइट्स विच इज कम फ्रॉम इन साइड सो इट विल लुक गुड देन इफ आई विल इनेबल अदर कलेक्शन जस्ट लाइक आई इम्पोर्टेड टेबल फ्रॉम मेगा स्कैन लाइब्रेरी एंड आई इम्पोर्टेड सम वुड टेक्सचर सो फर्स्ट आई क्रिएटेड सम क्यूब टू यू नो जस्ट गिव दैम बाउंड्री देन आई इम्पोर्टेड ऑल द यू नो जस्ट वुड मॉडल सिंगल वुड क्यूब मॉडल्स एंड आई जस्ट यू नो जस्ट क्रिएटेड मैनुअली एवरी थिंग ऑल दिस विंडो एंड ऑल दिस वुड थिंग्स देन आई downloaded a ac model from sketch fab i selected the wires and group them and press tab to go to the edit mode and with the proportional editing i just move them inside this hole and for pot creating pot is the most easiest thing which i did in this project because i just simply created a a cube then i apply if i'll uh, if i'll solo this one of them so this is the cube and if i'll go to the modify tab here you will see i al simply i apply the subdivision surface and the good thing about this if i'll solo this object and if i'll go to the edit mode he over here if i will uh, select this as and if i'll move them you can see i am changing the port real time and they are updating if i will select this loop and if i'll scale let me off the proportional editing you can see i am deforming the mesh 
of my cube if i will hide this you can see this is the simple box so this is the easiest thing and then i imported some plant and for animating the plants i you know just what i did actually i apply a displacement modifier on plants so first you just need to separate them so if i'll go to the vertex mode if i'll press tab so here you can see i i selected the leaf separately assign them in vertex group then i go to the modifier and apply displacement and over coordinate i choose the object and here i choose you can simply create an empty and animate their position scale rotation to animate these leaves according that and on here vertex group i choose the leaf so it will only affect on the leaf so if i'll play you can see clearly if i will solo these things and let me play this so you can see so you can see this is animating just a subtle movement pretty good a lots of really cool project are coming on the way so let me enable the environment so for environment i also imported the trees and i also apply the same technique to create the animation so here you can see i applied the three and based on my camera angle i change their positions and all and for the lighting what i actually did let me show you over uh, let me go to the world properties and if you'll focus over here i also uh, let me let me film and disable transparency so if you'll focus over here i imported i mean i just use a hdri along with the nishita sky so here is the nishita sky and here is the environment and i just you know just uh, change them using a factor called gradient so half of half of the area will be an environment and half of the area will be a sun so it will work perfectly for this scene so if you really want you can just do it so let me make it transparent and go to the my camera view over here and let me go to the uh, object and let's so these are four which is not necessary actually but this force is required to animate here is and this is the lamps which i also imported from mixi i mean sketchfab these are some books if you focus over here and if you did not follow me on instagram you can follow me because i post a lots of thing there and for animating uh so for animating this what i did i used some modifier just like bend modifier i mean a simple deform modifier and i choose one for the bend and one for the twist and i duplicated a lots of copy here you can see and i just shift the keyframe so it will look like the page is you know something like that and here i imported uh, i mean here i also created a simple paper and i just animate them using a wave deformer and here i created some posters of nps 3d simple image and simple box extrusion i imported a free laptop model to you know just fill out the scene for neon sign i just simply created a text and i just apply a you know just apply a simple neon material or neon in the sense i just boost the illumination if you see, see over here i boost the illumination of that thing and this everything is simple super easy and these are few small tree to fill out the scene so let me off this I downloaded some models uh, tree models from sketchfab and i also did the same technique to animate them and i just put them uh, one from uh, front and few back to fill out the whole scene and create us you know just beautiful frames i also created some warm light inside the room so that it can it, you know just it can create the depth actually and for the night scene uh, what i actually did i just created a extra light for the lamp and for the environment what you can do simply just need to go to the world and on the nishita sky you can just change the sun evolution from 25 degree to 9 minus 9 degree and this is the night scene so this is the thing which i did to create the day and night scene 
and this is the whole thing and for animating the camera i simply just apply uh, by pressing i and i just add a keyframe from start and end and i use a noise modifier to you know just simply give them a wiggle expression and then i rendered this scene so this is the thing which i did to create this scene and then let me show you how i composite these things inside after effect so let me close these things over here so if i will solo my composition so this is the by default uh, render which comes from blender and it's pretty good and it's really amazing to watch you know really amazing so the tip is you can just put some little movement to your object to fill your scene with motion and make them real then i simply uh, you know just apply a background from pixels and i added the camera lens blur to you know just make them believable then i also added some board png you know just these are if i will solo this you can focus over here these are the board i also applied blur you know just blur to and if i'll hide this this is the green screen and then i apply the fast box blur so this is the thing and then what i did more is i also added one more board which will you know just make this scene more beautiful then i apply some basic color collection this is also a one top of color grading and then in the end here i designed some you know just music and some vignette some sharpening noise and all this music and in the end the result is look like this So all right I hope you enjoy this breakdown and in future I will also post more blender breakdowns so if you are new here I will consider subscribe this channel and you can visit my channel and then if you think it's really worth it for you you can subscribe me so thanks for watching my video thanks for loving me I am NPS 3D and I will see you in next video